Thank you so much, Kylie. As the holidays approach, Thanksgiving right around the corner next week, you know, many folks deal with depression and PTSD, and really trying to navigate those feelings or support a loved one can be very, very hard. So here to talk about some resources that are available to you is Dr. Duran Gutierrez from Easter Seals. We're so glad to have you here with us. Thank you for having me. Tell us, what is PTSD, and really, what does it look like for folks who may not know? So PTSD is actually a mental health disorder. And the idea behind it is that something triggered it, some traumatic event, something like that. And it can often manifest with nightmares or um, flashbacks, uh, obsessive thoughts, ruminations about that event that people really struggle with. And as that happens, they can become depressed, anxious, nervous, even increased substance use. And so when you talk about triggers, what, what kind of triggers are we talking about? What can triggers be? Give us some examples. So very oftentimes people that experience uh, PTSD uh, experience sounds. Like for instance, a certain sound or a certain smell will trigger that memory. Sometimes they're very apprehensive because uh, if they go to a, a family event, mm -hmm. they might actually experience the person that possibly it gave them that trauma. Okay. So, so it can be a very difficult thing. So is that what it is like when people, you, you often hear people nowadays say, I, I, I'm triggered by it or I feel triggered. Is that what that is, that correlation be exactly. between that and PTSD? Exactly. Sights, sounds, smells. Uh, familiarity with you know certain people those kinds of things and it, why can the holidays be especially hard do you think for people who either suffer from depression and PTSD and everybody else too right I mean we we're all kind of struggling on some level it seems like well you know I think for people that struggle with PTSD a really good word to describe that is opposite you know, the holidays are filled with with joy they're filled with activity, they're filled with camaraderie. And or they're supposed to be, right, yeah, in theory, right? right? That's right, yeah. that's right. But the people that are experiencing PTSD, they want to be alone. Hmm. You know, they don't want to be interacting with people because they're, they're suffering. They want to isolate or, or they might struggle with all of that stuff and they might feel stressed because of all that. So it's, it's very important to understand all of that and how it works. And where does uh, overwhelm fit into this, you know, puzzle in some way? Because I will tell you, I mean, Thanksgiving's still a week out and I, I feel like everywhere you turn in the last week or so, a mom or a dad or a grandparent will say, oh my goodness, I am so overwhelmed. People are already feeling overwhelmed and we're not even into Thanksgiving yet. That's right. You know, I, the whole idea of the holidays can be a great time, mm -hmm. but there are so many things that overwhelm us. Like for instance, uh, the, the lights, lights everywhere, you know, that can be a real big trigger. Uh, the Christmas music that starts the day after Thanksgiving, sure. you know, those kinds of things. Um, just so many stressors. And then the expectations to really perform or be something, do something, be with somebody. Those are all, you know, producing the food, uh, getting the organization for uh, the family events. Those are all things that uh, can really be stressors and can cause a person to be overwhelmed. And can ratchet up that stress. And really quickly, Dr. Vidier, as we have um, on our screen, there's some resources. Can you tell folks quickly what resources are available for folks who do need help? And so if, you're, if your uh, listeners go to uh, Easter Seals Mork, M O R C dot org. There are some resources there that uh, they can use. There's some self analysis tools that they can use that can give them an idea of the status of their mental health. We also have some specialty tools uh, that can assess for depression or anxiety, uh, even, even substance use and abuse. Those things are all uh, confidential. We're not going to ask you to disclose any information or anything like but that. But they're there for you in case you need yes. it. It's so important for folks to know that there is help available. You just need to ask for it. So appreciate having you here with us this morning. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Coming up